Good afternoon. Welcome to Midday Prayer from Muir's Chapel United Methodist Church. I am Lauren and I'll be um, leading us in midday prayer today. It's a bit of de a departure from our normal morning prayer. Um, doing something a little bit different to bring us into the weekend and um, just for something different. So today you will need to check that link in the um, video description for commonprayer.net. Midday prayer in the book we use, Common Prayer for a Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals, midday prayer is structured a little bit differently than our regular morning prayer is, and there's a bit more back and forth. So I definitely want to make sure that you click that link and um, follow um, the menus to get you to midday prayer. I want us all to be able to join together in prayer and praise, and for you not just to watch me do it, but to um, join in yourself. So do go ahead and click that link, www.commonprayer.net. You can also, if you've been using the app, you can go in the app, go back a menu screen and select Midday Prayer. Or if you have your own copy of the book we're using, Common Prayer, A Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals, um, just thumb through the book till you get to Midday Prayer. Yeah, so um, I'm excited to do something a little bit different today. We are going to be listening. Um, We've got some instrumental music playing in the background. Um, it's a soaking worship playlist that I found on Spotify and I think it's particularly nice. And so I'm going to go ahead and start that music. And um, we're going to get started together. At the end of this midday prayer, there's a passing of the peace. It's something we normally do together when we are at church. But um, we're going to do it a little bit differently today um, virtually on the internet. So go ahead and be thinking of um, people that you'd like to connect with for when we get to that point. All right, join me in prayer and praise. Draw us into your love, Christ Jesus, and deliver us from fear. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. And now we'll have a um, a time for a silent meditation and prayer. As we meditate, pray and think upon ways that God can use you as an instrument of his peace. Where are you seeing Christ's peace in the world today? Join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Make us worthy, Lord, to serve our brothers and sisters throughout the world who live and die in poverty and pain. Give them today through our hands their daily bread and through our understanding love. Give peace and joy. Amen. We're going to read um, a part of the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes, together. You'll respond with the bold face type. Blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are the hungry, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they are the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness and justice, for great is their reward. Come Holy Spirit, we pray that your fruit would be in us, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Dear Jesus, help us to spread your fragrance everywhere we go. And if you'll pray the following prayer with me. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from you. From the malicious enemies, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Through our lives and by our prayers, may your kingdom come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So now we're going to pass the peace. Passing the peace is an ancient tradition where brothers and sisters in Christ normally would share a hug or a handshake or a holy kiss, which is not something our church does very often, um, as a sign of our love. Often, um, the embrace or the handshake is accompanied by the wish for the peace of Christ to be with one another. That's why we say, peace be with you and also with you, and say peace of Christ when we do that time at church. It's often said out loud as hugs are exchanged. The peace is also a sign that we have reconciled wrongs with one another and with anyone who might be holding something against us. Even if, like today, your midday prayer is alone. Take a moment to think of the people you need to connect with, to share a joy with, a confession, or a burden with. So take just a moment to think of the people or someone, just pick one, one person that you need to connect with today and commit to sending them a text message or um, giving them a phone call and connecting with that person to share a joy, a confession, a burden, and just connect um, with one other person today that's not in your household and um, just experience the peace of Christ together. As we go today, um, let's sing um, just the first verse of um, Amazing Grace together, just to get some singing in, if you'll sing with me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, 
But now I'm found was blind, but now I see. Go in the peace of Christ. Have an awesome weekend. And I'll see you Monday morning for morning prayer. Don't forget to tune in to online worship on Sunday. Um, we're going to be continuing the Heart of the Matter series. This week we'll be talking about how Jesus is our true vine. See you Monday.